Hey guys, so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about this piece, uh, how I got this major Game of Thrones commission. Uh, it's like four feet by five feet. You can't even see all of it, it goes all the way up here. So this is actually a second major commission from the same client. And today I wanna take a little time to kind of show you some of the process and a little bit of how this project came about. I hope you guys enjoy it. So today I'm going to talk about the process of how I work and some of the techniques of how I create some of my artwork. Because I know a lot of you out there, you love comments asking about my process and how I create my art and why I make certain art choices and, and different things. So stay tuned because we're going to get into a lot of that. So this piece back here, like I mentioned a minute ago, is the client. Some of you may recognize him if you watch sports at all. This is actually a basketball player for the Dallas Maverick. His name is Wes Matthews or Wesley Matthews. And I did a piece for him last year, right around the same time actually. In that piece, he was Iron Man. Because Iron Man is one of his nicknames. So I did an illustration of him with his daughter as Iron Man. And this is actually his daughter, a year older. But the theme is obviously not Iron Man this time, it's the Game of Thrones. But before I get into the, the piece, I wanted to talk a little bit about how it came about. The way this came about was kind of interesting. I've been having a lot of dreams lately about things in an interesting way. They kind of correspond with things that are happening in real, real life. But a lot of them are things that are yet to happen. And without getting too much, this is not a dream video, but I had a dream where I met with Wes, which I actually have never met with him before. We've just worked together over the internet or online through social media and stuff like that. So in the dream, I met with him and we were talking about a new shoe that he had that I designed and I hadn't heard from him, I don't know, probably in over six months. Uh, but after the dream, I was like, what does that have to do with anything? Is it just random? I, I don't know. But so I reached out to him, just checking in how he was doing, how he enjoyed the last piece. And he was talking about how it was like the centerpiece of his home. And interesting thing was that he said that he actually wanted to work with me on another project. And then he told me more details soon. And so over the next month or so, we went back and forth and found out that he didn't want another painting, another commission piece. And this is the same format, same size as the one last year. The thing that was different was he wanted a really elaborate background, which you can't see in this crop, but you'll see in the details of it. So the, the background would be very detailed, which uh, was different from the last piece. And the theme was going to be Game of Thrones. So I know probably everybody knows about Game of Thrones and it's not... And everybody should get probably most of the references with the characters. And I know a lot of people know that franchise or that property is very popular. He told me about that and I was like, God, that's really interesting. I think that could be a, a strong piece because visually there's a lot of interesting things that that show does. But I definitely would have to do a lot of research because I've never actually watched a show. I've never even seen an episode. So even with that, I guess there's like a, sh a short period of time where there was questions like, what do I do for this piece? Because I don't watch the show and I don't really know the characters, I don't really know the backstory and all that. <clears throat> and the side note, <laughs> the reason that I don't watch the show is, I don't really watch anything on HBO actually, but really it's uh, the content and like my, my family, like we don't really watch graphic <laughs> content and my wife doesn't even watch rated R films and I rarely do, like I'll see like Gladiator or The Passion of the Christ or a very select because sometimes the graphic content it depends on what the nature I guess of the graphic content is because sometimes PG-13 <laughs> has some things that is like a little bit too extreme for us too but I, I mean I did really like the Lord of Rings series a big fan of Tolkien and different things that are in the same genre but the show is just a little bit beyond a little bit outside of of all of that but yeah so with the show i already knew that there the reason why i never watched it because my convictions to to not be entertaining 
a lot of graphic violence. Uh, there's people dying horrifically, gratuitous, nudity. So a lot of stuff and content in the show is just not something that I would want to see and like welcome into my home because some things you just can't unsee and then it just be in your head and, and I don't like a lot of that. But needless to say, for this piece, he asked for specific things and I was I was fine with all the content with the dragon, with the location, with the characters, all that stuff. Nothing crazy was in this piece, but I definitely had to do research. And my research mostly was seeing interviews of the cast, them talking about their characters, and asking close friends of mine who are like diehard Game of Thrones fans, and just asking them like, what is their most iconic outfit? What would they be known for wearing? What is this and that? So they kind of walked me through some of the elements that I could actually use. And I still haven't even seen like an episode of the show. So that's a little backstory of how this piece came about and even my relationship with the show. So I don't know if any of you out there might be able to relate to not watching certain content. Where do you draw the line with how much do you watch and what shows or movies even are too far or not edifying or not uplifting or even that just kind of make you feel bad or impact you in a negative way. One of the reasons why I wanted to share that is because I don't really hear people talking about that a lot and it's fine to have convictions to not watch certain things or to refrain from things in popular culture. Just because they're popular doesn't mean that it's for you or that you have to absorb it or soak it in. So that's a little bit about my experience with the content and the process with this painting. I did want to show a lot of the actual progress and how all the, the different stages of how the artwork came together. So we're gonna roll that footage now.
thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this little tutorial, walkthrough, breakdown of this process, of this commission piece. If anybody out there wants a similar piece or you're interested in commission art or portrait or you have ideas or anything, you can reach out in the comments or contact me. Feel free to check out some of the other videos. Links, there will be links and things popping up, so check it out. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.